Okay, hi viewers, welcome to our channel, Teacher Director. In this video, we are going to discussing about the second chapter of tenth class mathematics, which one is polynomials. 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 Please pay attention. For every chapter, introduction is very, very important. It plays a key role for your understanding levels. Introduction plays a key role, which learns, which is able to learn basics. Okay? Prati dhani ki parichyam avasaram. Okay, introduction anadhi chala avasaram. Polynomial. First, we have to learn what is the literal meaning of polynomial there are two terms here first one is poly and second one is nomial nomial poly means many on the road side you will see polytech polyclinic after 10th class exam most of the students are interested to write polytechnic which means many poly means many here nomials means names Names in mathematical terminology it will be called as terms. T E R M S terms. Okay. This is many terms. The chapter name is polynomials, which is many terms. There will be a condition. This is the exact definition. This is not the exact definition of polynomial. Okay, poly means many. What is polynomial? Many terms. This is not an exact definition, but there will be a condition for polynomial. After some time, you will get the definition of polynomial. Okay. This video is done. Then, in this case, many terms are used to be Okay. Now, the polynomials before entering into the topic, we have to get an idea about uh, some technical terms in this chapter. Some technical terms in this chapter. First one is constant. First one is constant. What is a constant? Constant means a number which has a fixed value. Constant. A number which has a fixed value. For example, the value of 2 is 2 only. Whether you are in Guntur or you are in Tamil Nadu or you are in USA. The value of 2 is 2 only. The value of 3 is 3. Similarly, the value of 100 is 100. Okay, therefore, constant means a number which has a fixed value. A number which has a fixed value or a symbol which has a fixed value. A symbol. For example, 2 is a symbol. 2 is just a symbol. After that, it is named as 2. 3 is a symbol. It has a fixed value. 100 is a symbol. It has a fixed value. Okay. Therefore, a constant means a symbol which has a fixed value is called as a constant. For example, pi. In trigonometry, we use pi radians. In circles, we use pi. In finding area of circles, we use pi. The value of pi is 22 by 7, which is constant. Approximately 3.14. Approximately 3.14, not the exact value of pi. Here, pi is a constant. Here, pi is a symbol. In trigonometry, we use pi as radians, which is equal to 180 degrees. Pi and 180 degrees. Angle measure is repeated, pi value 180 degrees. Circle area find out is repeated, conical shapes areas find out is repeated, but pi value 22 by 7 or 3.14, mana convenient number, you don't need this one term. Pi day with circuit 3, March 3. March 14, okay. Third month, 14th date. March 14, Pi Day. March 14 is International Mathematics Day. March 14 is Albert Einstein's birthday. Okay, whatever it may be. A symbol which has a fixed value is called as a constant. For example, E. E is a symbol. It has a fixed value 2.20 something. E is a symbol, okay. A symbol which has a fixed value is called as constant 
therefore in general mathematics we use numbers as constants numbers whatever it is zero is also a symbol zero it is a fixed value zero is zero zero is nothing zero is a symbol it has a fixed value is called as constant next one is variable variable what is a variable okay variable variable means what is constant a symbol which has a fixed value is called as a constant variable means a symbol which takes various values a symbol which takes various values for example x plus 2 is our class strength on this day x plus 2 is our class class strength in the place of x i am going to write 100 what is our class strength 100 plus 2 102 on the other day in the place of x i am going to write 50 what is our class strength 50 plus 2 52 on the third day the class strength is 62 this can be written as 60 plus 2 here x takes the value 60 therefore a symbol which takes various values is called as a variable it will be changes for time to time okay for example the area of square the area of square is side into side which is for example side of a square is a therefore the area is a square the perimeter of a square is 4 into side which is 4 into a as the value of side the length of the side changes as the length of the side changes square yokka side mare konthi dani dani yokka area marutundi dani yokka chuttu kalta marutundi okay na as the length of the side of the square changes the length of the square change side of the square changes the perimeter change also the area change the perimeter also changes changes okay this is here a takes various values the area of a rectangle is l into b as the length and breadth changes the area is also changes okay here l and b takes various values according to the situation according to the problem l changes b changes here a symbol which takes various values for example area of a circle is pi r square here pi is constant already told you constant fixed value a symbol which has a fixed value but here the radius of the circle changes which means r r changes to problem to problem r changes according to the situation r changes as our requirement therefore here r is a symbol which takes various values for example in in some problems r may take 14 14 centimeters r is equal to 7 centimeters r equal to 15.4 centimeters whatever it may be therefore here r is a symbol therefore a symbol which takes various values is called as a variable in general we use alphabets x y z t something something like that in general we use alphabets as variables alphabets as variables that's why variables are also called as literals variables are also called as literals this is regarding variables what are the examples x y z t something whatever it may be that's why variables are also called as literals a b c d x y z t and so on okay next one is term next one is term what is a term the definition of the term the meaning of the term is term t e r m the combination of constant and variable is called as a term the combination of constant and variable i'm not going to the definition you have to write down when i am telling it okay 
the combination of constant and variable is a term. What is the combination? For example, I will take 2a. I will take 3b. I am going to take 100x. And so on. Okay. The, this is the combination of constant and variable. This is constant 3. This is variable. This is constant x. This is variable. Therefore, the combination of constant and variable is called as a term. Okay. The combination of constant and variable is also a term. According to the definition of term, there must be a constant, there must be a variable. The combination of constant and variable is called a term. According to the definition, you must have constant and variable. But I am saying like this, single constant is also a term. What it is? Single constant. Single constant is 2, 3 or 4. Single constant. This is also called as a term. But according to the definition, the combination of constant and variable is called a term. But here I am saying the common all single constant is a term. Why it can be written as 3 can be written as 3 into 1. 1 can be written as x power 0 or y power 0, any base having the power 0 equal to 1. Therefore, here this is the combination of constant and this is the variable. Okay. 4 can be written as 4 into x power 0. 2 can be written as 2 into y power 0, whatever it may be. The combination of single constant is also called as a term. Similarly, single variable is also called as a term. Single variable. Single variable. Single variable means, for example, 2. Oh, sorry. X is a single variable. Y is a single variable. Z is a single variable. Single variables are also called as term. Single variable is also called as a term. What it is? x can be written as 1 into x. There is no change in the value of x. y is called as 1 into y. z is called as 1 into z. Therefore, single variable is also called as a term. Single term is also called as a, sorry. Single variable is also called as a term. Single constant is also called as a term. But the definition is, the combination of constant and variable is called a term. Okay. And next one is, <coughs> next one is monomial, sorry, what is an expression, 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 expression means, <coughs> Expression Expression means the combination of the combination of many terms, many terms with respect to addition, subtraction he is called as an expression. What is a term? 2a is a term. 3b is another term. The combination of many terms, so, so many terms, one or two or three or so many terms. The combination of terms with respect to addition or subtraction. 2a minus b, 3a plus x, 3a minus y, whatever it may be, the combination of many terms, the combination of many terms with respect to addition or subtraction is called as an expression. So, today, combination of constant and variable is called a term. Here, 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 Plus or minus one day. Waka vela. Ikra two plus a and rasa one kundi. Is the expression of combination of two terms with respect to addition. Minus rasta with respect to more subtraction. The combination of many terms <coughs> with respect to addition or subtraction. Rundu terms modulo plus again and minus again. Adi waka expression out in the equation key expression key third on. Okay. Expression equal to zero unte equation equal to zero lap equal to symbol gana ka lack of the adi expression good to bit call. This is expression. Next one is polynomial. Uh, 
our definition, our chapter name, which is polynomial. Polynomial. What is polynomial means? <coughs> Combination of many terms. Already told you what is a polynomial? Many terms. We are going to decorate the many terms. Combination of many terms, but but combination of are you understand this? Okay. Combination of many terms, but the variable must be a non-negative integer. The variable have the power non-negative integer, the integral power. Okay. Polynomial means the combination of many terms, but the variable contains non-negative integral power. I am going to write the definition of polynomial. In case you are unable to understand, please pause the video and forward. If you have any type of doubts, please comment in the comment section. We will give the clarity. Polynomial means the combination of many terms, but but the variable variable contains variable contains non negative integral power here we have the new term non negative integral what is non negative integral you already note about uh, what is a power combination of many terms but the variable contains non negative integral power now what is non negative integral you know integrals are denoted by i or z which is equals to minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 and so on here these are the negative integrals these are the positive integrals 0 is neither negative nor positive but non negative means from 0 to 1, 2, 3 and so on. From 0 to plus 1, plus 2, plus 3. Which is called as 0 to 0, 1, 2, 3. Or called as non-negative integrals. Non-negative integrals. Okay, that is the meaning of non-negative integral. Combination of many terms. But the variable contains non-negative integral power. Power means. For example, x power 1 or x power 2 or x power 3 x power 4 x power 5 but x power minus 6 this is negative power x power minus 7 that is negative power polynomial means the combination of many terms these are the variables having these are the variables having non negative integrals these are the variables having negative powers okay Therefore, polynomial means combination of many terms, but the variable contains non-negative integral power. If you say variable x, y, z, a, what is a, a, a variable is a sare. What is polynomial anum? X power and minus no good to bet one Also, rational expressions are not polynomials. Rational expression means 1 by x is polynomial cause. Next. 1 by x square. This can be written as the pi kelta power minus x power minus 2. the pi kelta power minus x power minus 1. 1 by x cube. And the then rational expression and rational expressions are not uh, polynomials. Okay. What is the polynomial means? Many combination of many terms, but the variable contains non-negative integral power. Variable key non-negative integral power undala.
అంటే పాజిటివ్ పవర్ ఉండాలి ఓకే ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఎక్స్ స్క్వేర్ ప్లస్ వన్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఎక్స్ క్యూబ్ ప్లస్ ఎక్స్ స్క్వేర్ ప్లస్ టూ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ టూ ప్లస్ ఎక్స్ వన్ ప్లస్ ఎక్స్ క్యూబ్ అండ్ సో ఆన్ ఇన్ దీస్ ఆల్ కేసెస్ కాంబినేషన్ ఆఫ్ మెనీ టర్మ్స్ కాంబినేషన్ ఆఫ్ మెనీ టర్మ్స్ కాంబినేషన్ ఆఫ్ మెనీ టర్మ్స్ కాంబినేషన్ ఆఫ్ మెనీ టర్మ్స్ బట్ ద వేరియబుల్ కంటైన్స్ నాన్ నెగిటివ్ ఇంటిగ్రల్ పవర్ నాన్ నెగిటివ్ ఇంటిగ్రల్ పవర్ పవర్లో కనుక ఎక్స్కి పవర్లో మైనస్ లేకపోతే వాటిని పాల్ నామియల్స్ ఉంటాం పవర్లో కనుక మైనస్ ఉంటే వాటిని పాల్ నామియల్స్ అని పిలవడం జరగదు ఓకే కాంబినేషన్ ఆఫ్ మెనీ టర్మ్స్ బట్ ద వేరియబుల్ కంటైన్స్ నాన్ నెగిటివ్ ఇంటిగ్రల్ పవర్ ఓకే దిస్ ఈజ్ ద డెఫినేషన్ ఆఫ్ పాల్ నామియల్ అకార్డింగ్ టు ద నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ టర్మ్స్ ఇన్ ఏ పాల్ నామియల్ పాల్ నామియల్స్ ఆర్ డివైడెడ్ ఇన్ టు సెవెరల్ అకార్డింగ్ టు ద డిగ్రీ ఓకే డిగ్రీ ఆఫ్ ద పాల్ నామియల్ అకార్డింగ్ టు ద డిగ్రీ పాల్ నామియల్స్ ఆర్ అగైన్ క్లాసిఫైడ్ ఇన్ టు సెవెరల్ టైప్స్ వాట్ ఆర్ దోస్ వి విల్ డిస్కస్ ఇన్ ద నెక్స్ట్ క్లాస్ ప్లీజ్ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ అవర్ ఛానల్ టీచర్ డైరెక్టర్ థ్యాంక్ యూ మీకు కనుక ఏమైనా డౌట్స్ ఉంటే ప్లీజ్ కామెంట్ ఇన్ ద కామెంట్ సెక్షన్ వీ విల్ క్లారిఫై అవర్